Joy here. It's a Friday night, beginning of a wonderful weekend. It looks like we're going to have pretty weather. And everything is in full bloom. Everything is green, 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 and so pretty outside. And my husband is coming home a little bit early today, and he's taking me on a date. Yes! I called him, and I said, would you mind getting some food to go at the Mexican place and bring it home? And he said, why don't I just take you out and get you a steak dinner at that place you and Terry like? And I said, really and truly? And he said, yes. So anyway, I'm all excited about that. You don't hardly ever go on a date down here, you guys, because there's no place to go on one. <laughs> anyway, I want to show you what I made and tell you something that's very important to know when you're a seamstress. And this is something I learned years ago from this super, super, um, what do I want to say? Not picky, um, not couture, although she does couture, but she's um, very, very, oh, I don't know what the word is. Um, hmm, gee, did you ever hear me shorter words? <laughs> I'll show you my jacket till it comes to me, okay? <laughs> Here it is. Now this is that little something jacket, okay? This is my third one. And I think it turned out pretty good, although I'm getting ready to make number four, and I'm going to do a couple more changes, and I'll show you what they are. So let me put it on real quick. Hopefully my husband won't get home while I'm talking to you. Now see, here's the deal. Here's tip number one. When you make a jacket, you need to make sure that the armhole of the jacket is bigger than the armhole of your blouses. And so I like a 20 inch armhole. Does that remind you of Peggy Sagers, anybody? <laughs> I like a 20 inch armhole in my blouses. And so I didn't even think about it. I just made this jacket. Well, it turns out the jacket has a 20 inch armhole. And I think it needs to be bigger to allow more room for the arms of my blouse inside it. Okay, you can't see the whole thing. But I'll show you some still pictures. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I've been on the phone all day with this guy named Soup Tidge. Yes, Soup Tidge. S-O-U-P-T-I-J. <laughs> because my new laptop was having issues. It's been having issues for weeks. I am beginning to think, and I'll bet I'm right, that Hewlett Packard puts these bugs in their computers on purpose. So you'll have to call them. And then they can get into your computer and have control of it. And then they can do things to it, and God only knows what they do to it. And next thing you know, you got something wrong with it that won't go away. So you have to call this soup tidge guy. And then you talk to him for like three hours. And then he says, oh, they have this special today. And you can buy this three-year extended warranty, and it covers everything in the whole wide world, even if you drop it on the floor and smash it. So I said, fine, 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 just give it to me. But I still had to talk to soup tidge for another hour. But he did fix my computer, and it is working now. And the deal on this warranty, which I thought was kind of cool, and which is why I bought it, because usually I tell them to just take a flying leap, and I don't buy those silly warranties. But the deal with this one was, if between now and April 2017, I do not have to send that computer back to Hewlett Packard for repair, I get all my money back, which was $299. I get all my money back for that extended warranty. So I thought, ha, huh, that's cool. So, and plus you get a technician that comes to your home or you can get them on the phone and it's all prepaid that covers all of that stuff. So I thought I'll try it and um, when four years is up, cause you have one year warranty then plus three, I'll be ready for a new computer anyway. So anyhow, can you see my top stitching? Like Deb's, the triple stitch, I put it on the sleeve. Now there is a boo-boo in this, and I have fussed with it and fussed with it trying to figure out what the heck's wrong with the shoulder, what the heck's wrong with the soldier. And this is what I started to tell you about Cynthia Guffey. She is very, very detailed. That's a good word. Detailed 
about making absolutely positively sure that everything matches up just perfect in a pattern because when these companies make these patterns you know they start out with a a sloper that fits a certain girl a certain size person and then they do what's called grading and they grade it up to 15 different sizes well a computer does the grading is my understanding and so as that grading gets bigger 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 little mistakes can happen here and there and I found a pretty big mistake in this unfortunately I didn't find it until jacket number three but let me show you how big this mistake is this is the back of this jacket that I have on the back and do you see this green slice can you see the green slice let me put it on my blouse that little piece of green paper right there is how much the back shoulder was off from the front shoulder the back shoulder was this much too short for the size 14 and that's why every time I try to sew the shoulders together and match up the dot in the end of the shoulder I'm pulling and pulling and clipping and pulling and it's ridiculous it should fit they should fit into each other so check your patterns make sure everything matches up the way it's supposed to that's a real big tip so anyway, I won't keep you. I just wanted to say have a happy weekend, and I'll be back real soon. Bye.